Every once in a while, a game comes along and it just completely throws you. One of those games for me was Ghost of Tsushima, a stealth action adventure game set in feudal Japan. This game oozes cinematic quality and it's some of the best fun I can remember having in a stealth game since I played Tenchi as a kid. And when I heard they were porting it to PC and releasing it as soon as May 16th, well, I thought one thing. So many PC players are about the experience, one of the greatest games of our time. I don't know what it was that pulled me into this game for hundreds of hours when I first got it. I think I just played it at a time when I really needed it. But I really don't think I'm wrong in saying it is one of the greatest games you'll play in your life. So if you get a chance to, pick it up. But if you're on the fence about it, keep watching, because this got me hyped to go back and play. So I hopped on my PS5 this morning to have a go, and wouldn't you know it, still got it. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new here. Let's go scare the out of some Mongol warriors. Okie dokie. Ogawa Dojo. We're here to liberate it. I'm sure some of you hell divers will know what I'm talking about. Liberating was going on long before we got here, okay? So you play as this guy. Not that guy. He's he's no longer in the game. But uh this character here is Jin Sakai of the Sakai clan. Sakai, Sakai. Aim for the head every time, and uh, you can see I've got I've got quite a lot of stuff in this game already. I don't remember the last time I played it, but I've acquired pretty much everything. I'm fairly sure. So this is on lethal mode, which is the hardest difficulty. Basically, enemies are more aggressive in detecting you. Stealth is broken a lot quicker, and when you're actually fighting them, like windows on parries and dodges are really small. So, it can get pretty gnarly. You look at me? Right here, mate. Yeah, don't lose your head over it. Oh, he saw that. Is he running? I hit an eyewitness. I gotta take care of that. No alarms have went off, so I don't know. Maybe... Maybe he didn't. He definitely didn't. That jump was unnecessary, but you know, testing the legs. Oh. So yeah, there's a lot of different ways to uh, dispatch your enemy in this. And I guarantee I haven't figured out all of them just yet. This guy's chilling. He's chilling permanently now. Ooh. We got thunder coming in. I'm not sure where I stabbed that guy. Oh man. I'm sorry, doggo. Okay. Keep moving. I don't know why I have no problem wiping out the Mongol warriors, but I've got a real problem killing the, the Mongol hounds, I think they're called. Mongol hounds. They have a name. Let's get this boy. Good night. This mask I'm wearing is terrifying. Have you ever played Shadow of the Colossus? This is what this entire getup is inspired by. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of crossover. I'm not sure exactly. Or just a very obvious nod. Hiya. Goodbye. Ooh, that one's right between the teeth, I think. He'll never sing again. All right, let's have a look. If not much left, we need to head over this way. I can see some watchtowers. We might have some patrols just outside that wall. Oh, we got these guys. Ooh. So that little sound, that little like aberration is whenever they have kind of spotted you, but not outright. And I just threw a distraction there to kind of pull their eyes the other way. Oh, 
Dog, forgive me. Oh, thanks, so, pal. I stabbed him in the ear? Moment of silence and respect for the dogs. Okay. Let's go kill the rest of them. The weather system and the day-night system in this is so fantastic. Oh, what we got here? Bit of archery practice? Oh, wait. So, it took them ages to start walking back this way. So I'm wasting no time dispatching both of them. And this guy here? Yeah. No thanks, man. And you do get a lot of different uh, gadgets, uh, like uh, kunai, the throwing knives you can use. You get your bow and arrow, of course. You get smoke bombs, sticky bombs. You get firecrackers. Oh, there's loads of different little things you can use. Let's try and pull him over here. Nothing. Great. So, gonna try and attract this guy now. Yes, he is attracted. Who wouldn't be? Look at me. I'm not sure why he was right beside me. I didn't see him, he didn't see me, so. Best way to kill these guys? Sneak up from behind. And yeah, I think the rest is self-explanatory, no? Okay. No 4th of July for these guys. Boom. Okay. So one of the things that the Mongol warriors seem to do in this game is they go to the graveyards and I guess... He's looking that way. That's what I want. Don't want the spirit guy coming straight at me. Yeah. And I guess the idea is that they take stuff from the graves, like offerings or whatever. I'm gonna sticky bomb this guy. And just let him be. Sometimes you don't need to stab them. But you should, you should probably stab him again just in case, you know. Okay. Let's pop this guy. Oh. He's looking for something. Oh, he got it. So we snuck down here. Oh no, I wanted to show you something. He's calling for his mates, but I've killed all of them. So they do that if you... Don't take them out straight away. They will call by using their horn. But, uh... There's another little thing you can do in this where you can... <laughs> yeah, you can kick people off bridges. And if I could do that for every kill, I would. Honor the crickets. Firecracker over there. You can see the standoff option there. Basically, if you want to go loud, you can fight against all of them at once. These aren't the Mongol warriors we were fighting. These guys are bandits. The shame. Robin Greaves. Oh, they're working with the Mongols? Hit them in the face with a poison dart. The rest is history. Okay, let's smoke our way out of here. Not ideal, but if you get caught in a pinch... <laughs> Alright. Take one of these. Ooh. Cavalry's coming. You're just lying there, mate. You're not even putting up a fight. 
Este equipo a mí. Where's this fella going? Oh well. See ya. So certain gear actually causes some enemies to flee in fear. And if they do that, you can pretty much just let them go. Or hit them with one arrow and they'll fall over dead. Incredibly, that was nothing to do with me. Maybe these guys are just gonna take care of themselves. Okay. Freaking out for a wee bit. They still don't know where I am though. Misdirection that way. Nice. Oh. No, haven't seen me yet. Sneaky, sneaky. Chain assassinations, man. Such a cool skill. Oh! Oh no, they see me now. Let's go time. And that's like a power slice. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a power slice because I can't remember what it's called. The power slice. That's how it's done. Where's this guy going? Oh, I got a special arrow for you, pal. Yeah. Merry Christmas. So, we've changed into the Dark Tadayori outfit. And we're at high point. Guard post. Just gonna set these guys ablaze. It would be stealthy if you wouldn't scream so much. Go to sleep. He walked right into that, to be fair. So, what I didn't mention is each outfit actually has its own unique abilities. Which is pretty cool. This guy's practicing his technique. But you know what he should be practicing? His head space. Mental health's important, okay? Don't lose your head. Let's get this guy out here. I've got a treat for him. Hear you. Hear me? Okay. Hi. Bye. You know. Gotta respect the game. Oh, sorry dog. You know, I grew up with dogs and I have cats. I love animals, so do not get the wrong idea. So the chimes, I will say, are a good way of distracting people, creating noise. I'm gonna pull this guy over here. And then just let him sleep. Those guys are hard work when they're fully alert, so best to give them an early bedtime. So he's freaking out, that guy. Sometimes they just, they flee from the scene. That's what's happening with him. Easy chain. Okay, firecracker. Let's get them all in one place. One, two, three, yes. It's a magic number. Let's take out the high boys. Goodbye, boys. Heavy arrow is great for those long range shots. Sorry, doggo. No witnesses. One, two, three, maybe four. Let's do a little bounce. Yeah, go check on it. Let's get this guy. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, that'll do. So I had to hide for a bit, but thankfully they've all chilled out again. This guy thinks he sees me. No, he doesn't. And he never will. He's scared. He's running. Is he running too? Oh, mate, you should have ran. You should have ran. Well, that has me officially super hyped for May. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.